Hey everyone. Okay, so let's move on to question 1.3. Now, 1.3 is a good old box and whisker. So let's just read it and see what is required. Okay, so let's just see. So it says candidates sat for the National Senior Certificate Examination in November 2018. Okay, the box and whisker plot below shows a five number summary of the average pass percentage for mathematical literacy. Okay, so let's just look at these numbers. So what's important is that we understand what each of these numbers mean, right? Because a box and whisker is actually just a visual representation of some summary statistics. And now you're like, okay, Margie, what does statistics mean? St statistics, sure, it's a bit of a tongue twister, that one. Basically, what we want from statistics is it gives us insight into data, okay? And this is giving us insight into the average pass percentage for mathlet in November 2018. Cool. So let's see what each of these funky little numbers mean. So this one here is the minimum, okay? And this is not something that I can really explain to you because this is literally just a set of rules. You need to learn these rules. So this is the minimum. That's the maximum. This is what we call the lower quartile, okay? This 80% is what we call the upper quartile, okay? And this 69 over here is what we call the median, okay? And the median, what's important about the median is that the median means the middle, right? Mid-median, okay? Um, so that is basically what each of those points mean. So now we've already probably answered some of the questions because just by labeling this, you already know where things are. So just to um, highlight here that lower quartile can sometimes be called quartile one and upper quartile can sometimes be called quartile three. That's just important. I've just seen that over there. Okay. So it says use the box and whisker above to answer the questions that follow. Okay, so let's first of all write 1.3. Let me see that you can see that. Otherwise, this is no help to anybody. Okay, so it says, write down the pass percentage that represents the following, right? So let's just see here, it says the median. Easy peasy, right? We say 69, but 69 what, guys? They've told us, look, percentage. So you have to put a little percent. It can't be 69 bananas. It has to be a percent, right? You have to specify what you're talking about. It's important. It is important to be specific. It is also important to label your questions correctly, which I am not very good at, apparently. Okay, then you get quartile three, right? Quartile three is over here, 80%. You see, we're just flying through these questions because we now because we know how to navigate a box and whisker, we can get these questions very quick, quickly. Sure, I must speak good English. Okay, now we have 1.3.2. Okay, so it says determine the difference between the highest and lowest pass percentage. That's also not too difficult because the difference is between this max and this min. So we say here, max. And by max, I mean maximum. Maximum means largest, right? Minus min. Min means smallest, right? The minimum, the smallest, which equals, right? Equals 84, right? 84 minus 64, right? So those two numbers. And that equals 84 minus 64 is 20. So the difference between 84 and 64 is 20%. Okay, so you can check that on your calculator if you don't believe me, but that is the answer. Okay, so we basically smashed that. We got six marks super quickly because we understood what these summary statistics mean. Again, summary statistics, it means basically gives us these little quick snapshots of the data, right? So there's probably thousands and thousands of people that wrote Mathlet, but these numbers give us little quick insights into the actual um, into the data and into the marks and into basically the trends in the data, right? And that's why this is actually such a useful tool. Okay, so that's that question done. That was really quick. Next video, 1.4. Let's do this thing.